Hello and welcome to episode number five of Pool Boys Recommend, a comedy podcast where three crazy boys uh, recommend things to each other, do them and then review them. We are your certified Pool Boys. My name is Stuart. My name's Chris. My name's Dave. <laughs> And before we dish out our recommendations for the next episode, let's give a review of last time's recommendations. And so this week we are going to start with Chris. Uh, Chris, I gave you... No, you um, didn't. You didn't give what? me goddamn anything. Oh, I gave you, Stuart. Sorry. You gave me a bloody up. headache, Dave. That's oh, what you wake gave up, me. Davey. Sorry, boys. I'm trying. Last fortnight, Chris, I gave you the, the simple task, I thought, of uh, making an origami menagerie. How'd you go? Sim- it does sound simple, doesn't it? Um, <laughs> we've got some bloody good recommends this week, boys. Some really, yeah, really, really fun ones. Pretty psyched. Um, yeah. I was pretty excited, pretty excited to start. I've um, never really done much origami before. I'm not really much of a crafty guy, if you, mm-hmm. can, if you can believe it. I can. Um, and so I was about to sit down and get started and uh, sort of go over to the printer and pull out some paper. And as I'm doing that, Bella's like, what are, what are you doing? Bella, my, my lovely girlfriend, who's been mentioned on the show a few times, she said, what are you, what are you, what are you doing? I'm like, oh, I'm going to do, go do the origami. And she's like, what? No, 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 no. <laughs> I mean, no, 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 I can no, no. understand her surprise. <laughs> what? I can't imagine something that is less like you. Wait, You're going to sh- do origami without origami paper. Yeah, that's that's the problem, yeah. isn't it? You yeah, need you proper paper. paper. Yeah, man. Well, yeah, but I'm, okay, my, my plan was to just cut the bit off the A4 bit of paper and just make ah, it square. That's fair enough. Doesn't <laughs> fold as well. Doesn't pop as it much. Doesn't. Uh, apparently it's not. not. Apparently not. Like so, origami paper. <laughs> so Bella sort of held my hand through this entire thing and... <laughs> Uh, made, made, did all the origami with me. So, so oh, really? sort of got, there's like two of each animal to make a real menagerie. Oh. So, so here's what's, here's what's going on. I yeah, did, okay. I did five different animals and uh-huh. she also did five, the same five animals. Oh, cool. So what's going to happen is I'm going to send you guys the photos in our chat and uh-huh. we'll, we can post them online as well. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, and so here's the game. You have to look at the animal, try and guess what the animal <laughs> is, then guess uh, which one was Bella and which one was me. And Bella's a very artsy, very crafty person. i okay. origami many times before. She had origami paper to use, if that gives you any idea did. of how crafty she is. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> here they are. Um, okay. Where are we starting? Uh, the first one. So it's like a green. And That's a, the cra- and crane. Is that the crane? Yeah. Uh, that is a crane. That's the crane. So we started with crane. the crane. Yep. Okay. Um, one of them looks a little bit like a, a canoe. Okay. Well, which one? Which one do you think looks better? They both. I mean, one of them is kind of leaned forward a little bit, like it's seen some tasty breadcrumbs. Yeah. <laughs> I, I want to say that that's probably yours, Chris. The 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 green one. I'm actually yeah. gonna go. I'm gonna say yours is the one on the right, Chris. Uh, Stu is correct. Yes. Oh, yes. Okay. One's got a bit of a smaller beak than it probably should. Bella's yeah. surprised. More it's also got a bit beak. of a. It's a bit fat in the tail. Mm. It's got a badonka donk. <laughs> right, well, well, let's see how you improve. Okay. Um, so we started with an oldie but a goodie. Um, the video is really, really good. I'm going to rate all the videos individually as well. This video was two out of two for the crane, uh, which is really good. I don't have any of the names. Probably should have. Eh, what are you going to do? What are you gonna uh, there's a lot of origami YouTube. It's a whole like think, corner yeah. of YouTube. Um, there's some real classic folds, you know? Some like, I didn't realise how many folds would be reintroduced each time. Like there's a lot yep. of the same, same folds. And, yeah. Uh, the, wow. cra- the crane is a perfect place to start. I think after the crane, our confidence was sky high. Uh-huh. Yeah, so we're really, really happy with the crane. Wow, okay, great. Um, and it looks, okay. and it stands up and stuff. Like it's pretty, it's as good as you're gonna get. I reckon. Yeah, it looks great, man. I think yeah. you've done well. If that's your first one, power to you. That's really yeah. good. Yeah, I mean, I, I honestly, I just, I'm, I'm also trying to judge this based off the paper that you've chosen, and that is not the paper that I thought you would have chosen. No, nah, we didn't. So we, okay, we opened up the origami paper, and Bella's like, "I want this one. I want this one. I want this one." Um, like we're saving these and not and not ruining these on your dumb little origami. All oh, right, <laughs> so you just got the dregs. Yeah, I was going to say Chris did not choose the paper. Chris chose A4 printer paper. <laughs> 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 oh, <yeah. laughs> uh, all right, swipe across. Swipe across. Okay, so this is like a whale. Yeah. Okay, so what are you, what are your guesses? Yours is the one on the left. Yours is the one on the left. Okay. Oh, actually. No, the, the one on the right's got a weird tail. It looks a bit grisly at the back there. And how did you make it smaller? It's all chewed up. The, pa- uh, the paper is all the same size. How okay. did you manage okay. to make a small whale? Oh. So it's supposed to be a dolphin. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, now, which, which do you think I made? I'm going to go with right. I'm going to go with left. It's just two from two. Yeah. Oh, my God, really? Yeah. Um, you got nimble little fingers. 
Yeah, so I think <laughs> see, origami is a fickle mistress. Like it's it's uh-huh. really quite particular, and it's so because they go so fast. These people in the videos just know exactly what they're doing and just go <laughs> so quickly. <laughs> it's an orangutan. It's so easy to just miss one step, one step, and you're completely fucked. <laughs> like, and you don't know which step's going to be the important step either. Because like yeah. sometimes they're just like preliminary folds to like for your next three folds. Like it's actually not a fold you need to do, but it just sort yeah. of helps you folding the rest. And mm. some are just so fucking pivotal. Um, this fucking dolphin guy was a uh-huh. asshole. Oh. <laughs> it's just like <laughs> it's just so annoying when they. Like these bloody origami people want to like feature their magic tricks within the origami and they just like flip it like six times. You have no idea what's just happened. Is this in a tutorial video or is it yeah, just like They're experts? all tutorial videos. They're all yeah. tutorials. So they're tutorial videos and they're like, <laughs> check this out. <laughs> I bet you can't do that. Well, like, I don't, they don't think they're doing that, but that's what they do do. Oh, okay. So it'll start, it'll start with like a simple, okay, it's like it's, it, this, is how, this is how they all happen. Well, not all of them, but this one in particular. Mm. It's like, okay, fold it in half. Yeah. Then fold it in half again. And then use this corner to this point over here and then scrunch it up into a little ball. And then it looks kind of like a dolphin. And because you're just like, okay, easy, easy. And then you suddenly get proud of this thing you've created. And then it's just like, do this crazy fucking complex, absurd maneuver that makes no yeah. sense and could possibly ruin your entire thing. And uh, that's what happened to my tail in the photo there, that, uh, that, that red dolphin's tail. Yeah, it does look a little bit me. chewed up. A little bit grisly. Yeah, it was rough. I gave up. I gave up. Boys... This dolphin absolutely uh-huh. destroyed me. <laughs> <laughs> it I seems was just, that way. My confidence was sky high for the crane and it just plummeted oh, no. for this fucking dolphin. Yeah. Oh, um, man. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Yep. Okay. What do you think those crazy critters are? It looks like a frog to me. Well, one of them looks like a paper aeroplane. Actually, that's true. <laughs> yeah. One of-, <laughs> one of them is a little aeroplane. Like yeah. A, a sci-fi uh, like speeder. <laughs> going out to Tashi Station to pick up some power converters. <laughs> Next wing? Um, nah, to me it looks more like um, a, um, uh, what are they called? The, the Star Killers? Um, no, not Star Killers. X, X Wing? Mm, kind of looks you like, mean like the, the, uh, the Dreadnought kind of. Yeah, what are they called? In Star Wars, though, there's big fuck off ones that are triangular. Yeah, Starships. Uh, aren't they Starships? Anyway. Yeah. Um, yeah. Destroyers, maybe? Anywho, <laughs> Back- <laughs> neither of those answers were frogs. <laughs> Back to the origami. <laughs> Which is what I'm assuming this was supposed to okay. be. Um, yeah, they're, they're both frogs. They're both frogs. Yeah, uh-huh. great. Um, which do you think is mine? Which do you think is Bella's? I think the one that's yours is the one with the legs on its head. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? These frogs Look- can't tell their asses from their elbows. So the one on the right, okay. Mm. Like, so- it looks like the legs are like... Up in the air, looks like okay, it's bu- okay. it looks like it's bucking like a wild horse. Sure, sure, yeah. So that's yours. And, and Dave, <laughs> considering the narrative, mm-hmm. all right. What I've said before is that I mean, both of the ones that I I put in before, I said that they were yours, which turned out not to be yours. They turned out to be Bella's, in fact, because I picked the shitty one. Yeah, sorry, Bella. Well, so I'm gonna pick the one on the left because it's obviously better. But your I'm. I think that I'm probably wrong because you just said that your, your confidence was shaken. I love your logic here. Choose three from three. Yes. Fucking yes. Okay. <laughs> that was an intentional fail. Now I'm trying to go zero from five. Yeah, I suppose. <laughs> um, yeah. So essentially, what happened was I I missed one step where we just turned the thing upside down. That's Wait, all I missed. Head, you mean? Oh. And so that's oh. why mine looks upside down. Once that's why it's got a skinny face and a, and a big ass. Uh, right. Crossroads between. Frog and Star Killer base. That's right. Um, the frog was like the right balance of uh, fun and challenging. The, fo- the frog was actually really, really fun. Cool. The video was really good too. Two out of two for the video. Yeah. Okay. Um, here, let's move on to the next one. Yep. Okay. Uh, what do you think that is? Oh. <gasps> oh my God! Is that a gravy boat? A gravy <laughs> boat. <laughs> <laughs> It's a pig, right? It's a what? pig, maybe. Oh, well done. Yeah, I think that that is a pig. Well, yeah, that's that's a pig. They are two cute little piggies. Well done. Uh, well, done. Very nice. well, one cute little piggy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what? What are you trying to say? Nothing. All right. Who's the suits? They're, um, bo- they're both very good, although uh, I'm just jumping straight in. Yours is the one on the left. Dave? Is the one on the left. Mine is the one on the right. Damn it, man. Yeah. So now I'm zero from four. So wait, is mine the cute one or the ugly one? 
Oh, I actually think that yours is better in this one. Sorry, Bell. The one that I know is yours is cuter than the other one. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Um, yeah. Now we 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 all agreed on that one. There was a, a, a surprise that came out of nowhere. Um, I, d- I did pretty well on this one. I'm really surprised. Like I thought that Bella was going to be whopping you with this. So so did I. So did I. I think she did too. Actually, I'm pretty sure she's quite disappointed about the entire situation. Because <laughs> <laughs> um, this is where this is where I learned a very very important lesson of origami. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. You choose the video that looks easiest. Yeah. That's the trick. Okay. All right. That's, Don't. That's, <laughs> that's that's the way they did it in ancient Japan. Yeah. yeah that's the ancient <laughs> trick. <laughs> Don't try and invent the origami wheel. You know, just uh-huh. just go for the nice, easy one. All right? Actually, oh. the wheel is the hardest because it's all straight lines. Um, and like, it, the exact same thing happened here. Bella just missed a massive step, and uh-huh. it, it just it just whopped her. Just missed a huge huge bit. Anyway, oh. uh, let's go to the last one, the fifth and final. I only finished this one about an hour ago. Uh, Elephant. Oh, the elephant. It is. Mm-hmm. It certainly is, as recommended to me by Stu. So a bit of an easy guess there. Mm-hmm. Now, which yeah. do you think is mine? I do like the one on the right because it's kind of popping a mono. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it Still is. lifting up the back legs there just on the, the yeah, little handstand. Yeah, I, um, I photographed it from that side because the other side had just had just one leg. <laughs> 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 it's just a big square sheet. That's right, just exactly. just a corner. Quite literally, um, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a bit of a risk here. I'm gonna say that Bella's Bella's dropped confidence meant for it like a slightly slightly less uh, you know shiny performance on the on the elephant. I'm gonna say mm-hmm. yours is the the nice one on the left, and that the kind of wonky one is Bella's. I'm gonna say yours is the one on the right. Mine's the one on the left. Yes. Yeah, Mine's that purple it. boy. Yes. Uh, it turned out pretty good actually. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. And it's yeah. like it's got a cool pattern on it, so it kind of looks like it's wearing like one of those awesome drapes that you get at like um, ceremonies where they use you know use uh, elephants. Yeah, thanks, man. That's yeah, not what I was awesome. going for, but yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. The elephant drape ceremony. Um, yeah. This one, this one was particularly fun because it sort of had that cool origami trick of this looks like nothing. This looks like nothing. This looks like nothing. And then, oh, oh my god, it's an elephant! Like it just sort of came yeah. out of nowhere. It's <laughs> like a magic so cool. in my, in my yeah. hands. It's pretty fun. That's the video awesome. was shit. Terrible video. Went way too fast. There's a lot uh-huh. of like pausing and rewinding in these. It's a lot of like mm-hmm. stop, 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 stop. Okay, rewind, rewind. Like, like just to catch up what they just did because it's so easy to miss important, yeah. important steps. Yeah, of yeah. course. Now that I'm looking at the elephant, I'm I'm just like taking a look at the other ones to see like how like the improvement here. Oh yeah, the elephant's clearly the best one. You reckon? Definitely. Oh, oh thanks, I like man. the elephant. Yeah, the elephant looks great. Oh jeez, boys. The piggy. Pretty cute, pretty uh-huh. good. I'll, get, I'll, rate, I'll rate that one. Yep. Star Killer Base. <laughs> Not that good. I'm just looking at the tail on this last one, on this this dolphin. Yeah. And it honestly looks like you've put it in your mouth and chewed it up. <laughs> Actually, it does look like the end of a year six pencil, you know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah no, that's fair. That's fair. Um, yeah. All in all, origami is a lot like life. Uh-huh. You know? Because there's a lot of... I'm amazing at it and Bella sucks. <laughs> <laughs> no, absolutely not. It's just when you make a small mistake, you mm. keep getting reminded of that mistake. You know, <laughs> it's hard to get oh. past a simple mistake. Yeah. You're constantly reminded of your failures. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, look, it was all right. I think McOrgan just doesn't really suit me. It's just a bit pedantic for me and a bit... Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm looking know. at these results and I, I beg to differ. Yeah, it's, look, it's very good. kind. Like you're they, doing great. I will say they photograph well. I'll say that much. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, they do. No, but this is this is Chris's thing where he's like really good at it, but he doesn't like it. It's like it's like he's the chosen one, but he but he he doesn't, he want, doesn't this want this life. He doesn't exactly want this it. life. Yes. Thank you, yeah. Stu. <laughs> um, look, I I had an all right time, but uh, I can't really see I can't really see me doing it again in the future. So I'm going to give it a one out of two. A one out of two. Okay. Yeah, yeah that's all right. Yeah. Okay, cool. I'll um, settle for a one out of two. Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Very uh, good. So I guess we'll throw it to you now, Stu. Yeah. Uh, yes, yeah, Stu. I um, I'm gonna take another run at this. Yep. Actually, assigning the right thing. Um, <laughs> last week. Yes. I contentiously uh, recommended to you that you wear a blindfold for 24 hours. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, it's had, so had intense. <laughs> Um, I want to say, I really genuinely didn't think that this was a punishment. I thought oh, it would be nice. This is the worst one by far. It's not. It wasn't a punishment. I would. I wouldn't have called it nice, Dave. Okay. Not not being able to see, like we rely on our sight so uh-huh. much, and being blind for twenty four hours really really highlights that. Mm. Um, I've got th- this was so interesting, and and like as stupid as it sounds, being blind for twenty four hours was quite eye opening. Yeah, and that's why I recommended <laughs> it. I thought it, I thought it would be really uh, really uh, educational. Yeah, you got all that time to think about dumb puns. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, so I've got a, a couple of notes from the, the things that I remembered from 24 hours. Like 24 hours is a long period. So I went through a lot of different sort of phases of thinking about what this experience was like. So the, the first thing that I noticed is you, you move slow. You move mm. very slow. And, and especially me, like I am not equipped with all of the things that, that a, a, an actual blind person would have as like safety mechanisms and mm. uh, organisational systems to know where things are and to put them back. Yeah, and you're right, also, blind people are lucky. You're right, Stu. <laughs> you're the nail of it. <laughs> They've had a good, too good for two. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, honestly, it's, it's such a different world. Um, and so, like, y- you notice really specific things. Like, for instance, like when I'm having my morning cup of coffee, it's yeah. like, to me, it's like, it's the coffee and it's like the taste and, and, and the brown, you know, liquid, right? But it's, yeah. coffee's not brown and it doesn't look like anything. And so coffee is no longer, like is no longer the mug and the, it doesn't look like the mug and the liquid in the thing. What it feels like is like warm. And also the, because you're not looking at the world and getting all of this like external input, you're much more aware of what's going on in your body. So you can really Mm -hmm. feel what's happening when you have like a coffee or when you get hungry, your body like tells you you're hungry and you, you're really listening to it because you're not, you know, you're not distracted by the, um, the look of the world. It's Mm -hmm. a really, really interesting thing. There's a, there's, there were so many kind of like strange things that happened in my brain like over the course of the day. Um, the biggest thing, the biggest thing was what... I hope you guys can follow me because it made so much sense when I was blindfolded. Okay. What is space when you remove the concept of perspective? Because blind people do not have perspective. I feel like this is a hangover from that book that I made you read the other time. <laughs> it, 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 it kind of is. Um, what is space when you remove the perspective? Yeah, because in our world, we, we have an, an idea of how far or how close things are because of perspective and how small they are and, or large they are in our vision. Uh-huh. There is no such thing in a, in a world of, without sight. And so... In that sense, that kind of, to me, translated to this really different experience of going th- through the world. Like when I have my eyes open, I feel like the world is a, f- a fixed place and I am moving through it. Whereas when you're blind, it's more, you don't you're see... You're the fixed point. You're the, the fixed point. That's, moving? that's kind of it, yeah. It's Ooh, like things come, wow. things come to you. Because like, sure, you're moving and of course you are moving through the world. Oh, but yeah. you, you have no concept of what's actually approaching you. So when it's, you only notice it when it's there, when it's mm. actually there. Um, Far out, man. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. This, this is why I fucking recommended it. I thought it was super interesting. How oh, did you find, um, yeah. how did you um, find that you dealt with your proprioception? which is like your ability to tell where your limbs and everything are. Like if you close your eyes, you can touch your nose, right? Yes, yeah. Um, so I, I actually, yeah. I found it, it was more, it was kind of all out of whack in the mor- in like the morning when I, when I first woke up with the blindfold on. I was like, oh, you know, where am I sort of thing. But by the end of the day, because, because you have to be very slow and deliberate with your movements, I think I got better at it. Like, and, and by the end of the day, when I was like making, you know, making something to eat, sure, yep. it, t- it took me like three times, you know, the amount of time that it would normally take me, but I was very clear on where things were. But the mm. thing is, and what I would love to just have an inkling of an idea of is because I was using my prior knowledge of what the world looks like to mm. create an image in my head of mm. where the things I had put down were so that I could keep track of all the things I needed throughout the day. But for a person who has been blind their entire life, they don't have an image. They don't have an image of the thing. So, like, how, what kind of brain functions are happening to create a map of where the, yep. the items are, you know? It's it just bo- it just boggles my mind. It's something that I can't actually wrap my head around because I can't just disregard all of the previous vision I've had in my life. It was so strange and wonderful, Dave. Yeah, it was right. great. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. A, a few other things that I want to say uh, is that like, can I ask you? So just yeah, before you yeah. start that, what did you, what meals did you make yourself? I actually prepared. I yeah. ordered pizza the day before. Smart. 
and I just like kept kept I had two pizzas I just had two pizzas man because all I had to do was put it in the microwave I wasn't gonna like yeah. I wasn't gonna stumble around the kitchen and break shit um yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so I just heated up pizza um but like even making a coffee like you th- you, just, you don't think anything of it in yeah. in the morning when you've got your yeah. eyes you don't think anything of it you just put the spoon in you you know get the coffee blah 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 it's all yeah. done it's such a you got to think about every fucking thing you do when you're blind yeah, yeah. it's it, it was really using, interesting. using a kettle would honestly be terrifying oh, it's, it's just so strange so yeah. freaking strange um i think the biggest thing that i'm going to take away from this rather than all the kind of interesting concepts and what would like be like life be like if slash you know blah 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 i think the biggest thing i'm going to take away is when i see a a blind person out there in the world walking along the street i am just going to be like so i'm just so proud of all the blind people in the world for just getting out there and doing it because like it's in in, it's you're in such a vulnerable space yeah it's so vulnerable yeah yeah um and you can be absolutely yeah i'm sure that blind people would be very good at knowing when they're being tricked but i was not (laughs) um (laughs) so did mitch get up to some hijinks I uh, he did, yeah, a few times. He came, okay. <laughs> he came in once. He, he did this thing where <laughs> he did this thing where he, he like I was in the basement most of the day because I didn't want to have to go up and downstairs mm. while blind. He did this thing where he would open the door and then just close it without saying anything. Mm. And I'd be like, "Fuck, is he in the room or is he not?" <laughs> That's the worst. <laughs> That's um, fucking awesome. <laughs> oh, it was so rough. And then like, but that actually that taught me kind of even even more surrender because I was like, well, you kind of get this feeling of like, oh, shit, someone's in the room and I don't know. Mm. Um, and all you want to do is open your eyes so you can comfort yourself. But I'm like, yep. well, no, I, I can't do that. I have no way of knowing if there's someone in the room. There's no point in panicking about it because if it's real, it's real. If it's not real, it's not real. Like there is nothing I can do about this. So why worry? Yeah, I guess. Wow. That is cool. Yeah, such an interesting... Such an interesting experience, um, but I I don't I don't want to uh, I don't want to doll it up too much because I'm going to be honest with you, Dave. What it this, these are the thoughts that I had, but what it oh. looked like was me sitting in the basement for 24 hours, yeah. <laughs> not yeah. moving anywhere, right? Like, unless I absolutely had to. This is right. what I've been wondering this whole time. Like, what what did you do for 24 hours? It's such a long time. Yeah. Uh, I would listen to podcasts. Yeah, I would like to thank the McElroy brothers for playing Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah. Um, so it was it was really good. Um, uh, so uh, my star rating system is uh, out of thirty stars: ten for experience, ten for spiritual growth, and ten for stars. And I'm going to give it <clears throat> for experience because I'm not well prepared, uh, and I have never been blind for so long before. It wasn't. It actually wasn't mm. pleasant. So experience, yeah. I'm going to say three stars. Mm-hmm. Spiritual okay. growth, 10, 10 out of 10. It's like, oh, yeah, it's like, what the hell? What? Yeah, it was mm-hmm. mind, mind-blowing. Uh, and for stars... Yeah, here we go. Now, this is a tough one because stars, the way I think of my stars is like <laughs> is, is basically <laughs> like in a, in a newspaper or like, you know, a magazine. <laughs> how many stars would I give it? How, how much... How would I, yeah. would I recommend it to the people? And Okay, yep. This is the this is the biggest definition we've ever gotten from this star system, by the way. This yeah. is the- there are as many defenses for the star system as there are episodes. Of <laughs> Possibly more. Um, I'm gonna just go straight down the middle and say five stars because I think it's unfair to say you know zero stars because there are blind people out there and like they have no choice. Mm. But if you're not mm. blind, I wouldn't recommend it. I would. Re- God. Yeah. 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 Okay. God, it's just fascinating. Yeah, it really was. Yeah. But was there anything that you was just so difficult that you didn't even think of, like sleeping or something like that? Not not that I can think of. To be honest, I, I ant- anticipated that everything would be difficult. Yeah. And it, yeah. it kind of was. Um, I've got one more question for you, Stu. Yeah. Uh. You've done, the reviews are in, the stars are in. Did, mm. you, did you take a little peek? Just Come like, on. I just want to know what the time is. Just a little. Um, all right. So what happened was right at the end of the right at the end of the night, I had spent okay because like I don't have voice activated commands for my phone and I'm listening to a I'm listening to a podcast all day right, um, one of like 
after the whole day of asking my housemates to, to like, I'd like kind of hear them on the steps and then I'd like shout out and then I'd be like, can you help me play a particular episode of this? Oh. And then, and then they're like, mm-hmm. oh yeah. And then they're like, what have you been doing with your phone? Cause I, I tried to memorize the night before the pattern I had to make to play <laughs> the things I wanted to play. That's so um, cool. And yeah. I uh, failed many, many, many times. Yeah. And I'll, often they would be like, what have you done? You're in like settings for some weird app. And I'm like, oh, fuck. Um, <laughs> so after the, a whole day of asking for their help so many times, yeah. I accidentally bumped my mm. phone and it like paused the podcast. I spent like 15 minutes just freaking mashing my phone trying to get it to work. Oh, and then I was God. like, you know what? <laughs> fuck it. And I just quickly had a tiny peek and press play and then I was done. So... Apologies. Fair enough. Yeah, I did. I appreciate your honesty, Stu. Yeah, I do appreciate your honesty. Yeah. Did it make you, did it make you um, feel your privilege yeah. for a second there? Oh, yeah. definitely. I was like, and then because I'd had a taste, I was like, oh, mm. damn it. Yeah. <laughs> I just, <laughs> now you know. Yeah. <laughs> Got addicted to looking. Yeah. yeah. Oh, but, okay, last, last little mind blown thing. When the next day, the next day, and this is why the spiritual growth was just off the chain, because the next day I took the blindfold off when I woke mm. up. And the world, the visual world was actually quite confronting. Yeah, right. Um, yeah, okay. It was like, because when, when you don't have sight, your entire connection with the world is sensory. Mm. You don't, if, you've, yep. if you've got your eyes open and they're working, you don't have a choice. The world is in your yep. head. Yep. Yeah. So I just thought that was really sure. crazy. God. Like it was almost like the ground was coming up to mm-hmm. meet me. It was like, wow. it was like I... I'd spent all day where the, my only point of contact with the ground was just like my, the soles of my feet. And it feels so weird to have the, the ground in my head. Oh, mm. whoa, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, it was really cool. So thanks, Dave. It's awesome. Yeah, right. Yeah. Great. So, uh, I mean, I'm, I guess I'm lucky last, huh? Yeah, so Dave, yeah. Last, last fortnight I recommended that you call mm. a phone sex hotline. That's right, yeah. And, and, I, did, and I did do that. Um, oh, man, okay. <laughs> so, I, I mean, I remember that you did this intentionally because uh, you felt so awkward about the recommendation that I gave you. I'm obviously making a lot of enemies on this podcast already. <laughs> obviously. Yeah, out, out of your only two friends. <laughs> uh, uh, 100% hit rate. So, calling a sex line, it's a trip back in time, honestly. Yeah. It really oh. is. They're super, like, it, it wasn't as easy as I thought it would be. It was really hard to find. Oh, I was really? only one real company. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think there's many that's operational out there. There was only one um, that it seemed like it wasn't overtly a scam. Okay. You know? Right, okay. And the thing that convinced me, the first thing that made me feel like I was back in time, like it was 2006, was that I found the ad for this place on yellowpages.com. Oh, no. Oh. Yeah. Wow. (laughs) Whoa. And right underneath that in the Google search, there was an article. And it said, new laws put phone sex jobs on the line. And I was like, no. Right? Oh, no. And then I look at the date and it's dated the 4th of June, 1999. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. What? Oh, no, those new laws. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. And I did, I did click on one, actually. This is, this is the one I talked about, the one that was like, you know, scams and stuff. I did wa- I click mm. on one that was just a redirect page and it redirected me to wish.com. Oh no. No. I'm like, which it did make me think why spend $3 a minute on a sex line when I could buy an X shaped quadruple dildo. Damn straight. And a pair of see-through overalls for the same (laughs) amount. Right. Right, So, and I don't want to give away the company of itself um, Mm. as an endorsement or whatever, like um, for, for what it is, but uh, let's just say it's called babes five U. Okay. (laughs) 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 Um, so you get okay. So you get there. You call them up, right? Okay. You get there, and there's an automated voice, and it guides you through the options, right? Far out. Mm. Yeah. Um. And it's it's like it's this girl being like, "You just click the one that you want, and then I'll come back." And I'm like, "Oh no! Oh, <laughs> oh no! The minimum investment, and this is this is part of the punishment. I think the minimum investment was thirty three dollars. You're kidding? No. It's called, it's called the quickie pack. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And it goes all the way up to the like mega platinum ultra horny hundred dollar plan or whatever. Yeah. Right. You c- and so there's two different options as well. So you can talk live to someone for two dollars ninety nine a minute, mm-hmm. or you can Ooh. listen to like pre recorded stories for ninety nine cents a minute. Oh. Right? oh okay. Yeah. 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 So I decided, you know, I might try and do both. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Just try and get the real uh, thing, right? So I, I put it in, 
and I I went for the thirty three dollar quickie pack, right? Yeah, it's good man. That's the other thing. I was back in time. I was buying fucking credit. Yeah, for my phone. <laughs> you know? Yeah, wow. I was just fucking around in the menu for a little while, thinking about like what story I wanted to listen to because I kind of give you an option. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, and it starts, and I'm like, my lovely girlfriend Emma is listening. <laughs> oh, she's there with you. This podcast. <laughs> No, she's going to listen to this podcast oh, and the right. way she thinks of me is going to be permanently altered oh, by mate. what I choose here. Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it gave me so many options, an unbelievable amount of options, like way more than you would ever, ever expect. Well, I, yeah, right. I guess they've been working on the packages since 1999, right? So, <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, exactly, right? To give, you, like, to give you an idea of how many options there were, right? Mm. I started with $33, right? 99 cents a minute. It costs to be in the menu as well. Oh right? my god! Listening to I listened to the options for what the like the genres of the stories were yeah. twice, and I listened to the stories themselves. Like I listened to two or three different like segments. <laughs> two of them were accidental. <laughs> the stories themselves for a, for a grand total of like a minute and a half. Yeah, I went back back in time, checked my credit. Seven dollars left. You're kidding! <laughs> yeah. That's how many fucking options there were. <laughs> Oh my god! Whoa. It was an unbelievable amount of options. Like I'm only on the quickie. I don't want to upgrade to the fifty dollar option. <laughs> Who's using this service? I know. I fucking I know. Just different podcasts right? around Australia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, fuck. I better I better talk to someone. Yeah. It's like three dollars a minute. Yeah. I'm not gonna pay any more money. I've yeah. only got seven dollars left. I've only got like two minutes and twenty seconds. Right. Yeah. Time's on. So I ring him up. I'm like, she's like, hi, I'm Elizabeth. And I'm like, I'm Davey. How are you going? She's like, yeah, good, babe. <laughs> yep. I started, I started out. I'm like, listen, <laughs> this might be a bit, uh, this might be a, a bit strange. Like, uh, and she's thinking, oh, I'm sure it is. Yeah. And I was like, no, I'm actually recording this for a podcast. I just kind of wanted to ask you some questions. I've got a lot of respect for what you do. Mm-hmm. You know, in this day and age, we're very sex positive And, you know, I'm, we're just interested and I want to kind of find out about it. Yeah. Yeah. And she was actually really cool with it all. It was fun. Okay, you know? awesome, awesome. Yeah, um, lovely. And yeah, 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 yeah. And um, so I found out, I, I just want to ask her a few questions about her life. And what I found out was Elizabeth is her real name. Okay. Mm-hmm. She's from the UK. Okay. Oh. She's a vegan. Yep. Yeah. And they have an ironclad privacy policy. <laughs> yeah, oh. okay. Absolutely. Like yeah. I asked, what's a day like for you? And her response was, I can't talk about the other customers. And I was like, I don't want to know. Oh, <laughs> I, I don't want to know about the other customers. I'm just asking you about yourself. I don't want to know about any of that stuff. But we just like couldn't get anywhere, and she could yeah. obviously clearly tell that there was like urgency in my in my voice because I'm like I'm on a, I'm on the clock. We should right? be able to tell how how much money money you had in there too. I guess yeah, so. probably. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, do you know? Do you know? Uh, do people know that you do this? And she's like, yeah. I was like, do you? And I think I was like, I think you do the stories, right? Because I recognize the voice. I realized as oh. I was talking to her. But the stories that I listened to, it was the same woman. Oh, okay, right. Oh, yeah. Also, there's a bit where, like, when you when you choose the person, there's like everyone's got like a little um, an extension number, and you can choose. You go on there and you look at the photos and you read a little blurb, and it says this is the extension. Oh, right. Blah 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 blah. Yeah. But I just and there's another one where it's just like just choose the next person. So I just chose the next person. Hmm. Um, because that just felt a bit uh, less weird. Sure. Yeah. Um. But she was like quite like weirded out by the fact that I was asking about her stuff, you know, like not, not like. And I was yeah. I was very respectful, and I kept saying like, "Listen, if this is making you uncomfortable, I will I will stop, and I won't um, record uh, record or anything else like that." Yeah. But in my head, I'm thinking, "Stop acting like I'm the weirdest guy you've talked to." Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, you can't, you can't be serious. Like, <laughs> it's like. I, like I, you call up for a normal, like a normal, just regular chat, just about, hey, how are you going? What's your life like? And it's like, oh, that's like I'm a pervert. Yeah, like you're the weird. Yeah. What you want? A, you <laughs> yeah. want an emotional connection? You yeah. fucking sick freak. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which is not to say that people people who call sex lines are weirdos, but it's just like it's just a normal conversation. It's it's, it's yeah. interesting. Like I love getting paid to not do my job, so I don't know what a issue was. <laughs> <laughs> exactly right. Um. What she did do, because she knew that I was on the line, and I was like, listen, I can't, I actually don't have that much time. I'm really sorry. Uh, and obviously I don't want to make you uncomfortable. Um, blah, 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 blah. And she's like, look, actually I can give you, I can give my number. She was offered to give my number to her manager. Oh. So that they could call me and I could ask them questions, 
right? Oh, oh. Like, yeah. I mean, yeah, that'd be great. That'd be great, actually. Just you know, talk to them about it and not be charged three dollars a minute. That'd be good. Yeah. Are you, yeah. Are you now? Do you now hold some shares? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> In Babe's five years. Yeah, Babe's five years. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I realise I'm somehow the guy who called a sex line and asked to speak to the manager. Yeah. yeah you <laughs> it's, it's not a great look. Right? Actually, the best thing is you didn't ask to speak to the manager. It got so hairy for the person on the other side of the line that they were like, let me get the manager. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. exactly. She was it, Honestly, I want to stress, I wasn't doing anything weird. I, was, I literally asked, so what did you have for dinner? She's like, pasta. I'm like, cool. And then she was like, do you want to just speak to my manager? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, interesting. Yeah. That's, that's quite um, fascinating, actually. Yeah, yeah exactly. So, uh, and I never actually got a call back. Right, right. No, yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, I mean, fair enough, definitely. Yeah, um, totally. But you set out here to try and make me feel awkward. <laughs> yeah. And you've succeeded. Yep. yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it sounds like I did. Because <laughs> any minute, forever... I could get a call from the manager of a sex line. <laughs> At any minute. This is permanent. Any minute. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> God knows I'm not going around to it. Exactly. And, and I ended the call, right? And I was just sitting, I was waiting for this call back. And in my head, I'm doing the maths. I'm like, hang on. I'm not getting a call back from this manager. The stories are all read by this one woman. Mm. She was yeah. real secretive yeah. about anything that might give me a glimpse into how it all works. Uh-huh. Mm. I go online, I look at the profiles. Yeah. It's like, you know, Rachel. Mm. I'm a feisty redhead from Britain who loves sex. Yeah. Yeah. I Charlotte. See what, I see what's happening here. I'm hot and brunette and English and I love dongs. Yep. yep. I knew it. And I'm yeah. like, I see you back there, Elizabeth. Yeah. Amazing. I see sure. you back there. So, so wait, when you, like when they changed, because you, you spoke to two people, did you say? No, I spoke to one person. Oh, okay. So you didn't. Okay, I see. Right. Oh, that would have. It would have been amazing if there was like a moment where you were like, "Oh, actually, I'm going to talk to one of the other girls," and she's like, "Yeah, that's what I eat then," and then all then hang up and it's yeah. like, "Hello, how are you going?" Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah Sounds like yeah. you spoke to the whole office. I think I did. She's monopolized the sex line market. Amazing. Wow. She's a one-woman show, running the whole wow. thing from the show. She's she is the Australian sex line kingpin. There is another wow. podcast in this. Yeah, absolutely. There's like a full podcast in this, not a, a third of one podcast. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Wow, amazing. All in all, I'd rate it a thirty-five. Okay, okay, I'll okay. give it a thirty-five. I'll it's take the first that. one that's not a multiple of ten. Yeah, true. It's in between. It's in between thirty, which is self tanning. Uh huh. And 40, which is writing a dream journal, because I was actually pretty, you know, it was pretty interesting. Yeah, well, right. it sounds fascinating. Yeah. So, does, does so that, so that means you would, you'd call a sex line again before you tanned yourself? Yes. Okay, mm. cool. Because I can call a sex line for an hour, but I have to be tanned for days. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's yeah, true. Yeah. It's true. Oh, wow. Okay, okay boys. <clears throat> so basically the, the main experience of what we were doing here, mm. for me, Actually, the most tense thing. Like, I'm pretty personable. I think I can have a conversation with most people. Yeah. So, like having a, having like a, a like a, a conversation with Elizabeth. Well, actually, it wasn't that big a deal, right? The the really tense thing for me was fucking around in the menu, knowing that I was spending money at every second. Yeah, and it I was bet. incredibly tense. Yeah. Right? So yeah. what I've tried to do here is I've tried to give you the experience of what it was like for me to be in that sex line menu. Okay. Okay, here we go. We will set you up now for instant connection. Let's get started. Press two to move ahead. Arches are discreetly billed to your credit card. Please enter your Visa, MasterCard, or Diners Club. Diners Club! <laughs> <laughs> that music! Nearly there? This is like a space journey. <laughs> Whoa. This feels like Final Jeopardy. <laughs> oh man, being on the phone's never been so exciting. Valid select. 
Domination. Domination. It is actually so tense. I'm glad you put the music That's, over top. It yeah. was so fucking tense, it's, honestly. It's like sex work if it was a 90s arcade game. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Whoa. <laughs> Foot worship. I, I like how you yeah. decided out of that lot. Like, okay, this is probably... Uh, <laughs> this is what I can get away yeah, with. No, I, I need you to understand <laughs> that I chose the least blue. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay. There were... I, I couldn't in good conscience... Put some of them on on our podcast that we've worked so hard on. Oh my god! <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. Wowzers, trousers. So is yeah. that Elizabeth's voice at the end there? Yeah. Yeah. Right. She doesn't sound like she's from the UK. A little bit though. Uh, yeah, but it was clearly her voice. Yeah. Okay. For sure. Wow. Yeah. That is amazing. I love Honestly, her. power to Elizabeth. What a what a businesswoman. Yeah. What an empire. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. That's right. Look, um, boys. Hmm. Yeah. I think I probably just want to stop talking about my experiences of this thing oh, for a little while. Okay. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Do How you about wanna... hmm. we go on to some family movie night? Oh, oh. that'd be lovely. That'd be lovely. That, yeah, that would be nice and wholesome. Let's do it. Alrighty, it is time for Family Movie Night. If this is your first episode, let me give you the rundown. Every episode we watch another 10 seconds of Home Alone. We don't know why, it's just a bit of fun. So this week we're up to, uh, what, seconds 40 to 50. Let's see what's going on. Here we go. Mmm, Robert's Blossom again. Still on screen. Oh, those jingles. Those jingly bells. Ooh. I told you it was a house. I told you it was mm. a house. There's still no you know proof what? it's a house. The the house? It is a house. It has a chimney it's, and a it's roof. It's very clearly on the screen, Chris. Um, <laughs> it's 100% in the screen. <laughs> the film so, is called Home Alone. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I was a bit more distracted by this name that's currently on the screen. Devin Ratray. 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 Rat race. It's Devin Ratray. Ratray. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you, so now I we, think that was libel, Stuart. <laughs> what? What? I think that was libel. <laughs> libel. Libel. Yeah. What do you mean? As in, I think that you, it's def, you're defaming Devon Ratray. <laughs> rat oh, sorry, Ratty. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right, he'll be cool with that. All right, let's move on. And now we can at least, at least confirm it is a Christmas movie because we did get those jingly jingly bells. We did get those jingle yeah, bells. I, I was slightly worried that it, there wasn't going to be any jingle bells. Yeah. Mm. But then um, they. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the. Film. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta say, yeah. Hey, yeah, it's, no, it's, only, it's only a few months away, but we'll get to it. Uh-huh. We're, we're next, in two weeks, it'll be, what, 12 weeks into this experiment and yeah. we'll have finished the first minute. Oh, man. <laughs> God. Oh, oh man, bro. shiver me timbers. Um, <laughs> all right, cool, cool, cool. Uh, all right, with family movie night done and dusted, we are going to move on to next fortnight's recommendations. Okay. Um, who wants to start? I'll start. All okay. Right. All right. So last week I, ga- I gave, um, you know, I- I- I've been giving uh, things that, you know, kind of uh, have been turning you boys against me a little bit. <laughs> okay. Oh, you know, okay. it's not, I'm not trying to do it as a punishment, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's all right. It's a bit of hard love maybe. Yeah. This time... Chris, you know, I'm going to give you a little bit of a break. Okay. Make, you just kind of treat yourself a little bit, right? Uh-huh. What, what we know, like each episode, you know, I've kind of spent money. So this time you are going to have to spend a little money. That's okay. I want you to spend $33. That's how much I spent last time. Okay. And I want you to spend those $33 at wish.com. Oh. I want you to spend exactly $33. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to come back with the results. I want you to get. I want you to get as many things as you can. You're just gonna okay. have so much crap. 
I hope we're recording in 12 weeks' time because that's when everything's going to arrive. <laughs> oh, yeah, true, 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 true. All right, all right, 33 bucks on Wish.com. Okay. $33 on Wish.com. All right, I'll get, some, I'll get some goodies. I'll get something especially for you, Dave. Okay, that'd be nice, yeah. actually. And you too, Stuart. get delivered to my I'll house. <laughs> oh, that'd be lovely. Thanks, yeah. Chris. Yeah, I'll get you both something real special. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you want to give me a recommendation first? Uh, I think I will. I think I will. Um, cool. You know, when you think about things you recommend to other people, Stu... Mm. Like I feel like music is such a huge part of that. Like you're always recommending songs mm. and albums and that sort of thing. And so that's what I'm going to do for you this week, Stu. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah I nice. like that. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to recommend, Stu, that... Uh, <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh, this this, this started off sounding great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. It's, it's taken a dive off a cliff here. You're a music lover, Stu, okay? I am, yes. And so I want you to listen to B-52's seminal classic Love Shack 100 times. Oh, fuck. One? Oh, fuck. oh my God. Uh, so you can do it, you can listen while you're doing other stuff. It doesn't like totally rule out an entire day. Dude, you I fucking hope, gave I, me shit. <laughs> you're making him wear a blindfold. You know, it's just when you're going to sleep, when you're having a shower. You've got two weeks. Two weeks. <laughs> That's fucking silly. Oh, my God. Okay, whoa. Oh my god! You start playing oh it god. now, maybe just to. Just if to... you you have you only yourself to blame. If next episode I come back on the air and I'm like, oh hey, how you going? I'm like, you know, yeah, he's, he's freaking voice. Yeah. Yeah. And I listen to the, all the song. Oh yeah! And I'm just constantly bopping around with a big smile, clapping my hands. <laughs> yeah. Oh fuck. Oh, Mentally right. deranged is what you're right, saying. All right, Chris, I will do this for you. <laughs> I'll wow, do this for that you. is a prison sentence. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> and you, you know what? You know what the worst thing is about yeah. this. This is the next fortnight that I have to do this for. And this fortnight was the the, the fortnight that I was planning on really buckling down and working hard on my new album. And so oh, I no. <laughs> I am gonna be your influ- new album, Love new, Shack. Yeah, yeah, my new. It's just gonna be really influenced by Love Shack. Holy shit! Oh my oh, god. god! Sorry, uh, Stu. <laughs> nah, it's really okay. It's it's kind of hilarious. I uh, I listened to it a few times this morning just to sort of try and get in the headspace that you will be in for the next two weeks. And uh, let me you just basically say, basically have to listen to it seven times a day. For the next 14 days. Let me just say, Love Love Shack is longer than you remember. (laughs) (laughs) It keeps going. You're a cruel man, Chris. Yeah, this is rough, man. Wow. This is rough. All I did was make you fold some paper. That's true. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. All right. I I can lament about this. That sucks. I can lament about this (laughs) off the air. Alrighty, um, Dave, it's my turn to recommend something to you. Uh, yes, yeah, Stu, and I know that shit rolls downhill, so... <laughs> <laughs> um, look, I'm a little worried about you. We've been, uh, we've been at home uh, for the last, you know, the last few months, and yeah. Um, yeah. I, I know that you, you really love good food, and now we're, we're allowed to go out... Yeah. Into, into the world and meet yes. up, meet up with a few friends, uh, and oh. I, I just know that you're going to be having lots of lots of brilliant meals. Okay. Um, and I'm a little worried that you're not going to be doing anything to kind of keep yourself in shape while while you're eating all those. Good okay, meals. this is taking a turn. Oh, it certainly has. Dave, is it I, doing the beep test again? It is not the beep test. It's uh, so, it's a form of exercise that I think that you would enjoy a bit more. Uh, okay. I also think I'd enjoy watching you do it, uh, uh, Davy. I want you to do three sessions, a beginner's uh. session, an intermediate session, and an advanced session uh. of Zumba. Oh, yes! Yes! Oh, my God. Oh, awesome, <laughs> awesome. Oh, no. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Uh, there's, pl- uh. there's plenty of free online, online um, sort of videos that you can just follow and dance along to. And, uh, Thank God. That's what you got to do. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Love it. Would you believe that's not the first time I've done Zumba? Oh, really? Oh. Yeah, I've done Zumba one time before just to prove that I would do it. Oh, right. <laughs> and oh, now you can man, prove it all over again. Brilliant. Brilliant. proven it all over again. All right. Thanks, Stu. Yeah, this is good. I no can't worries. wait to have a, a rockin' bod. <laughs> I'm going to be a twerking machine. <laughs> um, all righty. I don't have anything to mention this week. Um, just follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Oh yeah, yeah that, like, actually that would be lovely. Yeah, if you if, if you could follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Also, oh no, I definitely have something to mention. If you're enjoying the show, it really helps us out, especially in these early days. If you go onto um, 
uh, iTunes and give us a review. That's um, true. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Drop some stars. Give us a review, and um, that really helps us get some visibility up. And um, we'd be so thankful. Honestly, it'd be really, really good. We're not really doing this to because we're expecting people to listen. So every time we do see someone doing a rating, it's just like a little reminder that people actually are, and yeah. it's really nice. Yeah, yeah. It really is. Um, yeah, we got our first review in John from Minas. I think it's Minas Tirith, but it's Minas. Minas Tirith. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, uh, and thank you. It's a very, very wholesome review. I appreciate that. On your um, yeah, on your on Johnny. Your oh, actually, yeah, and a big shout out to I've been looking at our analytics. I want to say thank you to our listeners in France, America, Austria, and freaking Morocco. I don't know who you are, Whoa. but hey, get in touch. We want to know Merci where where you are and uh, and who's listening. Morocco, so the Casbah. Can, yeah, you can you can tweet at us, uh, <laughs> and or we you just can... lost our listener in Morocco. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can tweet at us um, at Pool Boys Comedy. Or you can email us, um, poolboyscomedy at gmail.com. Uh-huh. Yeah, tell us what VPN you're using. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, I'm at lolskates on Instagram. Uh, I'm at um, creeslip, C-R-E-A slip. And I'm at s.j. Owen. Uh, and our, our page everywhere you go is at poolboyscomedy. Uh, cool, cool, cool. Uh, oh. big, thanks to, big thanks to Sunrise, supporter of the show. Oh, uh-huh. yeah, Sunrise on Channel 7. Big supporter of the show. Check and Sam out. Mack, cheers for that. Yeah. All righty. Um, let's put a little bloody button on this bow, hey? Uh, my name's Stu. I'm Chris. I'm Dave. Ask uh, Stu. Yeah. Take it away. Come on, Eileen. Yes. Yes. Well done. That was almost the song I picked, actually. Oh, wow. For yours. Yeah, instead of Love Shack, yeah. Oh, Chris. Don't tell me that. Don't fucking tell me that. That's rude. Oh, okie dokie. Thank you very much for listening. We are the Pool Boys, and we will see you next fortnight. We're thinking about going weekly. Let us know if you want us to. Bye! <laughs> Can you edit out the bit of me fucking up the, the, the who gave what? Uh, I probably won't. <laughs>